Hello friends and greetings for the day. Welcome back to another episode of Testing in Nutshell. This is Neesh Kumar Singh and we are talking about UFT tutorials. As a part of today's tutorial, we'll be extending further on the checkpoints and output values and we'll be talking about the XML checkpoints and output values, which basically helps you to compare the XML parameters right from the XML file itself in order to measure that there was any changes uh, being done at any point of time. And uh, for that, you need to understand that why would we use XML parameters to be validated? Because XML parameters are generally utilized to pass global parameters to the script. And that definitely helps to add a lot of value in order to prepare and verify that if the parameters are still the same or the right set of parameters are being passed and validated. This checkpoint will be added offline just to show you an interaction with how a checkpoint can be added without recording or interacting with the application. So let's quickly go there and get understanding of the XML checkpoint and output value in UFT today. As a part of this tutorial, we'll be trying to understand how to use checkpoints for XML and how to measure and capture the XML output value. In order to understand the XML checkpoints and output values, the very first thing is of course to understand what could be an XML parameter all about. Generally, XML parameters are used as global parameters and can be used to pass the values to a particular script which are going to be fixed throughout the script. For example, the URL of a particular web page or could be the user credentials which will remain the same for all throughout the testing. So login credentials will be done with a particular credential so you really don't have to parameterize them and have them hard coded but not pass through the script rather pass through an XML parameter which can be stored and even pushed forward for any specific uh, you know globalization and you can send it across as well now that's where you will feel a new different way of doing the same job by using the design and checkpoint you do have option where you can add it offline now XML uh, checkpoints which are definitely stored on your local device it can definitely be available to be added without recording as well. Remember team, the checkpoints which requires interaction with the application will require recording mode to be turned on. But the checkpoints which works offline will definitely be accessed right from the non-recording mode as well. So let's click on this button and check out what exactly is the way to para or checkpoint add the checkpoint for the XML parameters. Now here they're asking you to open the XML file which contains the list of the parameters. I have saved some XML parameter which can be displayed to you right away. So just open this file and click on OK. Now if you press OK it will open and show you that what exactly does it contain. So it contains a parameter or two parameters which has the name and their respective value. If I expand it further, you would find the values for each one of these legends or the attribute which is uh, the username and the password. So user is John and password is HP. So I'm storing them into two different attributes within a particular parameter. Now you can just select if you want to compare all of them or if you want to be specific you can uncheck all other boxes and keep only to a particular attribute of this XML parameter. Now as we have everything selected I'm just going to add this to the checkpoint and that is so simple you don't really have to go into a recording mode in order to do that job it's just that offline available go to design go to checkpoint and select the XML checkpoint and that's all the checkpoint is added. Let's run this. For this, we do not need the application to be on screen. We just have to run this and get this execution done. You will have a pass status because right now the information which you have in the XML is exactly the same and unmodified. Thus, you won't see the details here. Now let's do something from the offline. So from the offline, I will be just navigating to the, uh, you know, the file which I've created. So right click on this. Uh, you may have a folder here and right click to this and edit and here you can find so maybe I can just change the value for example HPE is the value for this just save it and uh, close the file and let's come to UFT and run the same script once again now this time as we have changed one of the values we expect a failure to happen on the screen and definitely it will also compare and show us that what exactly was the failure 
So right now if you see your result has failed but if you come down and look at the XML data file you may be able to identify that what exactly it is. So for example uh, content comparison is the link available here. Click on this and you can see that there is a transformation between this particular attribute where expected was HP but the actual was HPE. So this is how it just compares and showcases you the outcome of it and it will be easy for you to understand the same. So XML parameters when you have externally stored can definitely be uh, verified using this checkpoint. Now the additional thing what we will be learning here is also about output value. So just an additional step here. So I have to go to design now in the checkpoint. Now there is an output value and you click on XML output value and again do the same job. You select the particular file with which you want to compare or extract the data from. Right and click on OK. This time it will ask you to start selecting the ones. For example, if I select the parent, it will prompt me. Selecting a node does not affect the output value. You must select either an attribute or value. So this is where I need to expand and finally capture what I want to capture. For example, maybe for the username and the password, I want to capture the values. Okay? And where do you want to store it? So again, the similar way, the process remains the same. You can just rename it right here. For example, this is my PWD value. So I can say PWD underscore value. And to be stored in global sheet, press OK. So you can see that new column is created in the database. And I also want to extract the username, which is uh, the user underscore PWD, sorry, value. And just press OK, which has the other column added here and press OK which adds the step for output value. Now with this being run again you can have a runtime data sheet to see the result and outcome. Click on run and we do expect a failure but during the runtime you can see there are values being captured here and then if I come back here I can definitely have a content comparison for the failure but what if I want to see what was exactly extracted I can click on the test data click on default XLS it will open the Excel file and will show you the capture during the runtime. So the benefit of having an output value is basically that during the runtime you may have a complex framework being executed but there are certain points when you want to export the data from the runtime. So what exactly was used so you can see them even after the execution. Now that's where the output values are helpful. So this was a quick tutorial again to understand what are XML uh, parameters and how exactly we can use XML checkpoint and XML output value. Hope you had a good understanding of this. Should you have anything else, feel free to comment below. I'm always there to address your queries and answer them well. Till then, keep learning, keep exploring, keep understanding the context. Thanks for watching the video team and happy learning.